Stephen A, we know you were very critical of the Bears giving up a first round pick, two third round picks, and a fourth to move up a spot to get Mitchell Trubisky. Are you ready to admit you were wrong? <laughs> let, let, let me put it quite bluntly. Hell no. I mean, what am I supposed to do? Oh, let, let, let's stop the presses. You have one game. Uh, you're, you're 18 for 25 for 166 yards with the TD. You looked impressive. I was impressed with what I saw from Trubisky. I can't deny it. But it was against the third string. And oh, by the way, who played nothing but man coverage. And we're supposed to lose perspective all of a sudden and, 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 start, and start bloviating about how Mitch Trubisky is the second coming. Oh, stop it, please. Here was the issue. Glennon was so awful, so awful, that it was beautiful to see Trubisky doing what he's doing. That's number one. Number two, think about who Trubisky has to compete against. Okay, you're talking about Mike Glennon, who looked like a deer in headlights. That, he looked so bad. Not only did he look bad in the game, he looked bad at the podium after the game talking about it. Does he look like a quarterback that can galvanize the troops? I mean, just stop it. He's lucky to be in the league, okay? Then you got Mr. Butt Fumble himself, Mark Sanchez. Are we really supposed to get excited because Mitchell, Mitchell Trubisky showed up against the third string in his first preseason game? Stop. It was good that he looked good. I respect it. I appreciate it. And he'll probably be the starter because look at his competition. But does it mean I was wrong about what the Bears ended up giving up to get him? Absolutely not. My position has not changed. Well, first of all, Glennon was the best backup in the league. I think most people would agree with that. He was an elite backup quarterback who is now one of the lesser starters in the league. And actually, Colin Kaepernick is now a back. It doesn't, isn't even a backup, and he's a starter. What kind of sense does that make? But Glennon's not terrible, Stephen A. Even though he wasn't good yesterday, he's not a terrible quarterback. Trubisky looked good. I mean, it's like everything I'm telling you about how Conor McGregor has no chance against Mayweather. He's not going to land a punch. If after the first round, Mayweather was taking it easy and Conor McGregor somehow won the first round, would someone asked me, do I think the outcome of the fight would change? I'd still say no, but uh, I got to admit, some stuff already happened that I wasn't expecting. Trubisky didn't look just look okay. He looked excellent. Not just, yes, okay, he's against man coverage. He still has to read the defense, which he did an excellent job of. He was, you, you know, the way Deshaun Watson looked, he looked a lot like that, except he was more accurate with his throws. He could throw across his body. He could use his legs to extend plays. He was accurate hitting receivers. He was moving the chains. The, really, the only way he could have looked better if he would have connected on that last throw to tie the game, right? Then he would have looked even better. Now, yes, it's true that he's playing against third stringers, guys who are not, he's not going to see on an NFL field, by and large. That's true. It's also true. It's a sample size of one game and not even a whole game. Also true, so it's not like you can definitively say, boy, Stephen A, you were wrong. And I was wrong. I also thought it was foolish for them to move up the way they did. But the way Dak Prescott looked early on in the preseason last year after, um, after the injury to Romo, where you're like, oh, whoa, wait a minute. There's still a lot of evidence we need to see, but that guy looks like the real deal. I'd be lying to you if I didn't say that right now about Trubisky. Based on what we've seen so far, he looks like the real deal. Like, if you're asking me now, if the only choices were he's going to be good or he's going to be bad, I'm taking good. Like, if, that's the, if those are the two choices I'm taking, he's going to be a good NFL quarterback. Uh, he was very very impressive yesterday. And Max, the other thing to keep in mind, too, is he has working to his advantage that the Bears aren't going to be very good, let's be honest. So they can have him come along slowly. He has no pressure where he has to jump in first week like some of well, these other guys. 